ordering decimals. Now we've got a set of numbers here and we want to put them in order from smallest to biggest. Now what I like to do when I'm asked to order decimals is I like to put them in a vertical list first. So I've got 0 0.32, 0 0.3, 0 0.032, 0 0.305, and 0.45. Now what you should hopefully notice about the way I've wrote down this vertical list is I've lined up all my decimal points. And that helps with making sure that we've got all our units uh, in our place value in the correct place. Because remember these zeros here represent that we've got units of zero. Then we've got our decimal place. The next column is our tenth. And then we've got our hundredths, and we've got our thousandths. Now, when we're ordering decimals, it's really key to check that you've got all these units the same. Because sometimes you might find they're not all the same, but in this case they are all the same. So that makes it a little bit easier for ordering. Now, what I like to do is I like to look down my list and see which ones have got the most numbers after the decimal point. And if we look, these two here have both got three numbers after the decimal point. So I like to make all of my numbers have three numbers after the decimal point, which means that on this end of this 0 0.32, to keep it the same, I could just add a zero in this last column. And it's still the same. But it's now got three numbers after the decimal point. If we look at 0 0.3, I'm going to add two zeros after the decimal point. We don't need to do anything to the next two, but if we look at 0 0.45, I'm going to add one extra zero. Now, each number has got three numbers after the decimal point. So we've got each one has got a number in the tens, hundredths, and thousandths. Which I've just spotted, I've only put hundredths at the top. So we've got something in the tens, hundredths, and thousandths in each one. Now, because these are the same, these are all zero, I can imagine but these numbers, in actual fact, are 320, 300, 32, 305, and 450. And I need to put those in order. So firstly, we've got 0 0.032. So that's the smallest. Then we've got the next smallest, which is 300, which is 0 0.3. So please notice I've taken out the extra zeros I added on there. Next number, so we've already used uh, this one. Uh, oh, sorry, this one. And let's just rub that out. And we've already used this one. So next smallest is 0 0.305. So 0 0.305. So I've used that one. Next smallest, well, it's 0 0.3. Two, and taking out that extra zero, and finally we've got 0 0.45. And these decimals are now in order from smallest up to biggest. Now you don't have to do it like this by adding on the extra zeros and by thinking about it as like 320, 300. What you can do is another way of doing it is looking down the temps column and seeing which ones are smallest. So if you look down the temps, you'll notice that this one here. It's got the smallest number, so that's got to be the smallest decimal, which is what we did. Then we can see the next smallest temps are these threes. Now, because there's three of them, we need to look into the hundredths column and think which one's the smallest. Then, well, we've got two zeros, so we've got to go over to the next column, the thousandth, which is when we see that this 0 0.3 is the smallest. Then we've got 0 0.305, etc. But I think this is a very good, easy method to make sure you get it right. Is to make sure that each number has got the same number of numbers after a decimal point by just adding zeros on. Then we can imagine and think this is 320, 332, 305, 450 and order it like that. But remember to make sure that units are the same value.